Hey guys, Ricardo here, and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. So, guys, today I'm going to show you how to actually change the default app on your Samsung Galaxy S8. I can also show you how to change this on older devices as well. Now, to actually change the default apps on your device, what you want to do is to go to um, settings. Once you're in settings, guys, you're going to go down to um, apps. On older device, it's going to say application. And once you're in apps, you should see all the apps. Right on all the devices, you'll see um, application manager, and then you should see the default um, applications. But on the newer device, such as the S8 that you're seeing here, you'll have to actually click on the three dots upper right, and then you'll actually next have to click um, default apps as you're seeing there in the menu, the second option. And here you are at the screen with the default apps. Now, as you can see, you can do several things, such as you can change your default browser for the Samsung Galaxy S8 from the Samsung Internet or in my case Samsung Internet Beta which I have installed and you can actually choose another browser now this would mean that the default browser will be any one that you choose here and as you can see I have several options so for example if I want I can change to Dolphin, Firefox or Chrome so whenever I'm opening up a web link or by default if the um, browser or if the device needs to use an internet connection it will use the one that I've chosen here as default you can go ahead and select for example I could select Chrome and as you can see there is change to Chrome or I could change back to internet beta and so on if you have a alternative calling app you can actually set it here as you can see contact is the only app if I install a third party contact apps it will show up here so if you have one that you like you can actually do the same for messaging for example if you have hangouts you could actually select hangout here or Facebook messenger or any other third party and of course it goes on just like this and of course if you also have a third party launcher by default Samsung's touch with whiz sorry <laughs> touch with home UI is here but of course if you have a launcher such as Nova launcher or Sony you keep switching between them or if you want you could set um, it back to touch with or set it to Nova launcher exclusively or so on right? so you get the general idea so guys this has been how to actually change the default um, applications or apps on your Samsung Galaxy device so on all the devices are a little bit different but as you saw I just showed you how to do it with the S7 and what to look for on all the devices so it's regard from Blog Tech Tips saying bye until next time guys bye